hello everybody welcome to my channel this is Ogo Wadi thank you so much for tuning in today guys how are you doing I hope you guys are doing great we well, thank God for another beautiful day so guys today I want to show you how I make oha soup or ora soup depending on what part of eastern Nigeria you are from in my place we call it ora <laughs> but it's all the same ora it's a leaf a very beautiful green leaf that we use to make this particular soup I mean this soup is my best soup ever it is awesome you can eat it with any swallow of your choice whether semo, pounded yam, wheat, oatmeal, cauliflower, cabbage, flour, you know, all that. You can use any kind of swallow. Now over here, this is the leaf. The leaf normally is pure green, but I preserve mine in the freezer. That's why it turns that color, but it still gives you the same results that you need. So now, since this is the main ingredient, these are the supporting ingredients. Over here, I have another vegetable called Oziza. This is a very beautiful, uh, you know, leaf vegetable. The leaf is kind of um, also the same size with the aura if you were only seeing it without it being frozen. I just add a little bit of it to give it a distinctive flavor. My God, you need to use Oziza for your soup and you will understand what I'm saying. Here I have my blended scotch bonnet pepper. You could use habanero pepper. I have my cow skin. I always like to use um, cow skin for this. If you also have cow feet or cow food, whatever you call it, it's very nice. I don't have it now, so but this is what we use. Like if I was in the village right now, these are the ingredients I'm going to be needing. Here I have ogiri, ogiri. Oh my God, I call it neighbor disturber. <laughs> the smell is fantastic. If you cannot stand the smell, you want to run away from where it is. But guess what? when you test it oh my god the test is out of this world isn't that wonderful this the look is kind of ugly the smell is <laughs> somehow but the taste is fantastic it takes you to the highest realm believe me and here i have my crayfish i have two stock kill and i have a this is my smoked dry uh, smoked fish mackerel i made that I'm, i have a video of where i made the you know smoked mackerel you could also make yours if you don't want to buy it from the store right here is my stockfish called oporoko some people call it codfish but this is stockfish i have already cooked all this you know to make the video first now this is my thickener this is coco yam or ede in the store whether african store or regular store any supermarket you look for it's called edo e-d-d-o but we call it ede that's wonderful here is my beef stock. Today I'm using oxtail for this. I love oxtail so much, though it's pricey, but it gives the soup a very, very nice taste. So that's the stock. And this is the oxtail. I already, you know, cooked it. And I just grilled it just like five minutes only, just to hold it, <laughs> um, you know, together for me. Over here I have, this is supposed to be my oil. This is actually my palm kernel concentrate. Yeah, well, there's a link that's going to pop up that shows how you can make yours to use. If you don't have palm kernel, you just go ahead and use your red oil. It's the same taste, but, you know, I just like to use it. One, I have it available. And second, you know, I just want to feel like I'm back home in my country. So these are all you're going to be needing, uh, you know, for this beautiful orasu. So let me go ahead and show you how to make this i want you to join me i mean let's do this together okay now if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for i told you we got a lot of goodies in here go ahead and smash that button subscribe and tap on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload any video or recipe guys it's hot in this channel you need to be family all right and to you my amazing subscribers that are returning i say god bless you thank you so much for all your support i really appreciate you so guys come with me let's make this beautiful soup and make sure you get your swallow ready because after this we're gonna have to test it right <laughs> okay all right so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm just gonna separate 
the flesh from the bone of the codfish. You could eat the bone, it's so soft, but I just separate them and break them into bits. This stock fish is very nice and when you're cooking this soup, I don't add salt until almost the end because stock fish has a lot of salt in it. And the smoked fish I made, I coated it with salt. All right, and then the oxtail, I boiled it with salt. Do you see I have salt going on here? So that's why I'm not gonna add until towards the end. I'm also gonna debone the smoked fish, you know, debone them to put in the pot together. Wow, guys, look at that smoked fish. You need to try this. Watch the video, it's very simple. Look at that, well done. Very simple. So, just gonna debone everything and get ready to go. Alright, this is done. I try to be careful because of my kids, the bone. I don't put the egg. Some people like to, but I don't. I have little kids and I don't want anything to harm them while they are eating. Alright guys, now I'm ready. I also have my apron on. So the first thing will be to pour in the oil concentrate. You have to be careful. There are sediments under it. So when you're pouring it, just pour the top to avoid the sediment from going in. You see them? And the next thing I'm going to go ahead and pour the stock. This soup is not really a thick soup. I don't like it thick. I like it kind of a little watery. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the stockfish and the cow skin. Also, the meat is going inside now. So that all the flavors, the meat is gonna, you know, take all the flavors in the soup. So for now, I'm just going to allow this to boil. When it comes to a boil, then I add the other ingredients. Okay, now it has boiled. I'm going to go ahead and add. I'm not using all this. You got to be careful, guys. I like to blend the, a lot and keep for later. So you're just going to add the cocoyam, which is the binder. There's a specific species of cocoyam we use for this. The particular one in Nigeria, we don't have it, so I substitute with the Indian one. That's the closest to the one we use in Nigeria. I'm just going to put it and add every other thing and allow it to boil. Like I said, this soup shouldn't be thick. You know, it's kind of a little, not watery, but at least liquidy. Now, after this, I'm going to go ahead and put, remember this, my neighbor disturber? Put my neighbor disturber, put the stock cube and the crayfish and I'm going to go ahead and add the pepper. Don't mind, it's just water, it's not so much. Somebody might see it, I'm like, oh, that pepper, no. I added a lot of water to the pepper. You know, and then I'm just going to allow it to boil. So when it boils, then I add the vegetable. Okay, you see now the cocoyam, everything has melted into the stock. That's good. This is how we want it. Nice, not thick, not too so liquidy. Just nice. So now the next step will be to add the oral leaf, the uziza leaf, and my smoked meat. Remember, I haven't added that because I want to see it in the soup. I don't want it pieces. That's why I haven't added it. So let me go ahead now and do that. The ara leaf, normally we don't cut it with knife. We just use our hands and like cut it. If it was like fresh, fresh, not frozen, you will see it properly. All you do, pick the leaf. There's no specific or particular shape. All you're doing is just Cutting it with your hand, that's how I was taught. I really don't know the reason, but that's how I was taught anyway. That you cut it with your hands. 
I used to like cutting it because I mean I'm not using knife so it's kind of faster for me with the knife I'm trying to be careful with my hands but with this you just go ahead and tear I've washed it anyway it's well washed so I'm gonna put some and see how it is I'm not mandated to use everything because normally you don't like put a lot of the leafy vegetable you just put it it has to be like scanty and now the uzuza is already pre-cut i just go ahead guys the uzuza is something else the smell is amazing it takes you down village memory lane <laughs> to think i didn't even grow up in the village but i love all this so much i mean thank god for my mother she taught me well Alright, this aura like this is super fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and introduce our smoked fish. So now we're just gonna allow it to come to a full boil. And we are done. You see, I didn't use everything. That's how we want it. Alright? Okay. Woo, guys. The soup is ready. The oha soup is ready. Look at that. Don't you like this? So I'm going to dish it to the uh, plate. And you know what you guys going to do? Go ahead and smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video. Share the video, guys share 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 so every other person can learn how to make this beautiful Igbo soup all the way from the eastern part of Nigeria you see my fish the fish let me stop saying my fish <laughs> you see the fish it didn't break because I put it last nice 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 so now I'm just gonna go ahead and dish it out. You have your swallow ready, guys. The soup is ready. I hope you have your swallow ready. All right, guys. So this is it. This is it. Your Oha soup is ready. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Go ahead and try this soup. You will enjoy it. Believe me, you will enjoy it. Leave me a comment in the comment box below. If you have any question, please feel free. You know, ask me a question. I will answer as much as I can. I appreciate every one of you for staying all the way till the end. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Keep cooking. Bye-bye.